What's up y'all, Preston Smiles here, coming to you from the beautiful Vista, California. Today's transmission is about how to own, literally slay, literally take over, literally beast mode, 2018. Now one of the first places to start in 2018 is by reflecting back on 2017. So thing number one to tap into, to move into, to dance into, ooh, ooh, is to reflect. It's to sit in powerful questions. What worked? What worked about my way of being in 2017? What didn't work about my way of being in 2017? What do I need to turn the volume up on in 2018? You see, powerful questions always call for powerful answers. So we wanna sit in powerful questions and reflect on what it was that worked, what we loved, what we hated, what pushed our buttons, what, what really got us going in 2017. You see, a lot of people wanna just keep moving forward and I understand that totally, but uh, if we are left to own our own devices without really truly reflecting, we will always fall back to what we've known. And so one of the best things you can do is take an inventory of what was so you can bring that and synthesize that, what worked in 2017, what worked in the past, and bring it into the present and go, ah, oh, success leaves clues. What do I need to turn the volume up? What do I need to uh, extract? Remember, because we have to understand that elevation requires separation. Right? You gotta give up to go up, you gotta give up to grow up. And so many of us, and this is lesson number two, this is thing number two to lean into for 2018, is understanding that what got you here will not get you there. You see, a lot of us are trying to drag old relationships and toxic bullshit that no longer works for us. We're trying to drag it everywhere we go. We want our, our, our cake and we want to eat it too. And you can eat the cake, but you gotta make a new one. You gotta make a vegan cake. You see, a lot of times we get so attached to the way it was that there's no space for what is trying to be birthed through us, as us. And so the work for 2018 is to let go of what was, is to leave some of the past in the past, is to be willing to sacrifice some of the um, short term quick fix gains that we have been so attached to and really get into the game of mastery. Really get into the game of owning the stillness. See, if there's one thing that I think uh, a lot of people don't really understand because we've been so conditioned and trained to believe otherwise is that those who live extraordinary lives, those who position themselves to uh, live their best lives now, spend a lot of time on the plateau. They spend a lot of time where it looks like nothing is happening. Hear me. We've become so addicted to winning. We want to win all the time. That we dabble, we hack, but we never really sit in the mastery, in the stillness, and double down when it slows down, right? There's there's um, a story about the Chinese bamboo tree. And you see, the, the Chinese bamboo tree, if you, if you plant it in the ground and you water it and you give it sun, for the first year, nothing happens. Then you, you, you do it for the second year and you give it sun and you give it the proper nutrients for the soil and nothing happens. The third year, nothing happens. The fourth year, nothing happens. The fifth year, you're watering that thing consistently and all of a sudden, the Chinese bamboo tree goes from literally nothing to growing 100 feet in the air. So the question is, is, did it grow in that one moment on the fifth year, or was it growing the entire time? And those who live extraordinary lives understand that it was growing the entire time. Oh, oh, let that land. It was growing the entire time, but so many of us are addicted to getting it right now. So if you really, really wanna take 2018 by storm, 
you will slow down to the speed of wisdom and understand that even when it doesn't look like something is happening, it is. Put one foot in front of the other. Take the step you are taking now. Be in the game for the sake of being in the game, not to try to get there and be LeBron and Oprah and Steve Jobs and all the other people who you admire. You have to understand they did it every day, day in and day out. And sometimes it didn't look like they were, they were progressing. But just like the Chinese bamboo tree, it was always happening. It was always growing. You just couldn't see it with the eye. So what I'm asking you, what I'm challenging you to do is to see it with the eye behind the eye, the inner eye. See it with that part of your heart that knows without a shadow of a doubt that you are here to dispense and release some of your gifts to the planet, not just some, all. Oh, oh. Let it land, all of your gifts. So that's the game we play. Lesson number three, to take 2018 by storm is you must increase your relationship with risk. Guys, I'll tell you this right now. In the last three years, I have quadrupled my income. I have quadrupled my emotional bank account, my spiritual bank account, and my physical one, which is fantastic. And the, if you ask me, what are some of the things, the elements that created that, I'll tell you, one of them was risk was being willing to risk it all. Those who are willing to risk it all position themselves to gain it all. But so many of us sit on the sidelines and we only make calculated decisions because we wanna control and never get hurt. But those who are willing to risk it all also position themselves to gain it all. I need you to hear it, I need it to land. You're going to get hurt. Stuff is gonna be messy. There's no way to control it. So many of us have become control freaks and we're trying to avoid all the pain. We don't want to be hurt at all. And logically this makes sense, but if you're really asking, if you're really wanting a powerful life, if you're really wanting a fantastic life, if you're really wanting and de dedicated to and committed to owning 2018, you have to increase and open yourself up to risking, to jumping, and knowing that you will build your wings on the way down. Oh, oh, let's get it, y'all. Hear me, 2018 is your year, but you gotta decide it. You gotta declare that it is and do the work. Do the work, the internal work and the external work. You gotta do the work that it takes. You gotta pay the cost to be the boss, and you have it in you. From my heart to yours, hear me, you have it in you. You just gotta do the work, one foot in front of the other. And be humble, right? Because we are all, all here for a finite time in these physical skin suits. And to know that all of it matters and also none of it matters. It is a divine dichotomy, a cosmic joke. It is the paradox of this interesting thing called life. All of it matters. Oh, oh, and none of it matters. Let's get it. Blessings and blessings. If you're new to the tribe, new to my vibe, new to the family, the Love's Voice family, I want you to hear that. I am, we are Love's Voice. We are Love's Voice. And we gotta turn the volume up, right? Because when we amplify our love, we automatically amplify our lives. And so that's the, that's the secret one. That's the one, that's the secret sauce. That's the one that's, that's all around the whole thing. Love, turn it up and you turn everything else up. Blessings and blessings. If this video reached some part of your heart, if it inspired you in any way, I ask that you share it. Whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, if you're seeing it on Instagram, I don't give a flying truck where you're seeing it. Share it if it inspired you. You're the only way I get stuff out. I don't run ads. I don't have a giant quote unquote team behind me. You are my team. You are my family. So if it inspired you, share it. I love you. Blessings and blessings. Let's get it, y'all. California, I A.